Hi, Ottoman Eagles. I thought it would be fun to just do a completely optional art lesson. Um, so you do not need to do this, but if you wanna kind of try something new, go for it. And what you're gonna need for it is you're gonna need a leaf. And guys, try to find a leaf that hasn't gotten crunchy and dry yet. And you're gonna need either a rag or a sponge, it's up to you. And you're gonna need a bowl of water and you will need some markers, okay? So I picked warm colors because that's what the leaves turn in the fall, but you can do whatever color leaves you want. So the first step is to move everything aside and just grab your leaves or your leaf and your markers. And guys, you can color it however you want, but you need to make sure you're coloring it on the veiny side. So see, this is more smooth. Color it on that veiny side, okay? And put lots of marker everywhere. So just color, color, however you want to do it. And guys, if you want to share this with me on Google Classroom or email it to me, that'd be awesome. I just like to see it. Remember, this is just for fun. Okay, and let's do some orange. Oh no, my leaf ripped. I was coloring too hard, wasn't I? I think that'll be just fine. So if it happens to you, it is okay. forgot to use yellow guys let's do a little more yellow you're probably like miss so when you're getting your paper awfully messy i can always flip it over though right use the other side for the printing i want to color those veins make sure i got a lot of marker on there maybe even this one too okay I think I got it pretty good, guys. And then, just so I have a neat print, I am going to flip the paper over. And then, the next step, guys, is I'm gonna take my bowl of water, I'm gonna take my rag, and I'm gonna wet a spot on the paper that I want to print on. And guys, you don't want it to be soaking wet because then the marker is gonna just kinda spread out and look kinda messy. So wring out that um, water pretty good. And you need to think, how big is my leaf? Because you need to make sure you wet at least that big of a spot. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my leaf marker side down right where I wet that paper. And I don't want it to move around, so I hold it with one hand and I kind of do a little tap, tap everywhere on the leaf with my other hand. Tap, 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 tap. And guys, the good thing about art is you can always try it again because we're going to learn something. We're going to be like, hmm, maybe I put too much water or too little water or not enough marker. And you can try it again with what you learned, right? You can also look at this and turn it into a giant picture of leaves if you want to print more and more different varieties. Are you ready? You ready? Are you sure? Okay. Ta-da! So I think they're beautiful. I love to see the little design in it. Um, and I do think they start to look really cool when you start to overlap different leaves together. So like I said, if you want to share with me on Google Classroom, I'd love to see it. But this is just for fun. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye.